Hello everyone and welcome back to Tiny Blue Games. Um, today we're going to look at the Escape from Scarlet patch and the description of Lion's Ark. So we're going to just jump right into the uh, cinematic everyone sees once they enter the game. Don't worry about the miasma. Focus on searching for survivors. <laughs> Alright, so there we have the uh, beautiful cinematic showcasing the destruction of pretty much, the, well, completely the main city of Guild Wars 2. This is where everyone, you know, does their business, where everyone AFK is. It's a pretty major thing. Um, so I'm just jumping right in after, I was already in Lion's Ark, so I'm just right into the combat. It doesn't move you out or anything like that at the moment. Um, and I'm just joined into an overflow server here and I'm actually right where my commanders are doing an event. Um, it looks like the events are about escorting the uh, the, the villagers, or the, the townspeople, I guess, of Lion's Ark out before they get killed. And uh, I, we pick up a side event uh, soon here um, to save the children, which is very interesting that they went that way, um, where, you know, it's like a real life real war kind of thing where we want to get the children out first we want to you know save as many people as we can kind of thing it's not that they've covered their bases here which is a very nice thing to see in a game um i, I am lagging a fair bit at the start here um as you might see i i will eventually log out and log in and it fixes it pretty well um you see here i find two villagers trapped under the bridge with um uh, a bunch of scarlet's forces attacking them uh, so I, I take those guys out and I, f I free both of them uh, I separated from the pack a bit here so it's not as crazy they're just kind of above the bridge waiting for me uh, so we take these guys out and we're looting these uh, supply bags all over the place um, which I open in a second here and they, they, they're very good um, very very good uh, I'll, I'll talk about more where they drop in a second here once I open them but um, they are more than not enough reason to do these events. Um, now there's a mix of different kinds of guards here, like different, like, you know, alliance, I mean, uh, the molten alliance, um, the toxic people, and the aether blades. Um, but there's also, you know, elites, champions, like, there's a, a different range of difficulty in the monsters, depending also on how big your group is, um, which in Blackgate we're going to have a pretty big group even the overflows uh, so we uh, take these guys out and I'm just gonna go open the bags right here um, I open the first one and to my astonishment I get Dragonite ore which if anyone's making their ascended gear will understand how wonderful it is to get um, I'm also getting these new items associated with the events I haven't figured out what they do yet um, there'll probably be a video coming up later on on that uh, and then you get some scraps of other stuff as well but the Dragonite ore is a huge plus for me because I've been trying to farm that for my ascended gear for a while now 
All right, so I logged out and logged in. This is a look at the map. Um, completely changed. Um, looks very chaotic. Not not very happy. <laughs> not a good place to be right now. Red surrounding it, you see. Um, the city's completely on fire. Like the, It's not like, you know, the patch wasn't called Try and Protect Lion's Arch from Scarlet. It was called Run Away and Save as Many People as You Can from Scarlet. Like, the city's lost. We're just cleaning up as much as we can before we go and retreat. And we have a new base of operation that I actually go and look into at the uh, end of this video, so stick around. Um, I look at that, and I also give you guys a sneak peek at the uh, new back piece you can get from these events, which are, is very nice. Um, I show you at the very end of the uh, video, so stick around for that too, or skip ahead, you know. Um, I'm just going to take a quick peek around some of the uh, more common areas of Lion's Ark, get a bit of the, uh, uh, Lion's Ark, <laughs> get a bit of the, uh, scenery, um, uh, if we see the statue that's been destroyed a thousand times in the center there is, believe it or not, destroyed once again. So, we look down, uh, down there was actually where, um, the Mystic Forge and all that was, which is completely gone. Um, here's the I iconic bridge, um, which in the distance we can see her big drill, Scarlet's big drill there, that she's drilling for something uh, underneath Lion's Arch, which is very impressive looking in the distance. We see how this is all on fire. Um, we move in here to where the uh, vendors and all that are. Um, completely deserted. No one's here. Ghost land. Uh, ghost town, I guess. <laughs> um, give me a break, it's late in the night. They didn't release this patch as early as I thought, which was a big... Uh, stir on the Facebook page for sure. People were waiting, especially in the European servers. Were like, "Oh, well, I guess I'm already in bed." Um, but that being said, they released it with pretty seamless, seamless release, which was great. Um, and it, it, they delivered. Um, so here we have the uh, Molten Alliance coming in from this side. It seems like everyone's sort of attacking from a different point, which is very interesting. We see their portals, and we also see the uh, Dredge tunneling up over here. Uh, so you have to kind of defend off from different sides. Um, all right, so I'll show you guys. This is the new city, or like the uh, the makeshift area of operation for Lions Art. Um, it's uh, just right here, the uh, the vigil place actually, just right actually close to where Lions Art was. We've got um, the trading post and. Uh, the black line uh, weapon merchants here and all that and then uh, we go down over here to all the portals including the main cities and the uh, world v world and heart of the mist portals and the mystic forge of course with um, Miami or Mayan <laughs> I forget her name the girl who sells you um, the ingredients you need for uh, ability points um and here we got the uh, banker and the guild banker, of course. Uh, actually, very close to the uh, auction house and all that. And I, I believe they also have crafting stations here as well. Um, all right. Well, I'm gonna give you guys a quick peek of the new back piece right here. Um, someone linked it to chat. <laughs> some <laughs> some guy who obviously went out of his way. <laughs> but here it is. It's a kind of a robotic. It was cross between wings and spider thing it looks very wonder like just wonderful um well worth getting in my opinion um very very nice um all right guys so that's all i have at this point the patch just went live i'll be sure to come back with some more videos for guild wars 2 um thanks for watching and as always have a have a wonderful day uh if you like the video be sure to subscribe or toss us a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment and be sure to come back for some more videos. Thanks, guys.